Good evening, Simon here, Explosive Action, and we are going to take a special look today at one of the movie labels on my shelf. That means quite a lot to me, and uh, one that I've been enjoying collecting, and that is... The Joy Sales Legendary DVDs. There were many hundreds of titles in the Joy Sales Legendary line, spanning from 2006 to around 2011. They started on VCD and then moved on to DVD and then stayed only on DVD. Though no longer in print, the films are available on eBay from time to time, and occasionally still show up on sites like DDD House and Bad Panda, but I got a lot of mine originally from YesAsia.com. They didn't just do Hong Kong films either. For example, here we have an uncut version of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm not too sure what was cut from the Western release, but this one is apparently more uncut. So the first two we're going to take a look at are VCDs. Yes, the legendary line from Joy Sales did have VCDs in the range. Um, some were supplemented by DVDs, but many were VCD only, and I believe that's what these two are. These are both uh, Yukari Oshima films, and the first one is A Book of Heroes, which was pretty good fun. And the second one was The Funny Family, which was actually pretty damn funny. Very silly film. There you go. A um, bit of action in them. Not super action films, but uh, both were good fun. I've got quite a lot of these DVDs, so we're going to go through them quickly and in alphabetical order. The first one is The 1000 Year Cat. And uh, yeah, this one's a horror film and stars um, Wise Lee and uh, Gloria Yip, so there you go. The second film is Abracadabra, and this is the first uh, example here of one of their horizontal landscape posters. Sometimes they show them this way as well. One that I haven't watched yet. This next one is called The Angry River, and stars Meow Ying. This one is The Big Heat. Directed by Johnny Toe, and um, yeah, produced by uh, Sue Hark. This is the Black Cat, produced by Dixon Poon, who's a name that you will hear a few times and probably giggle at, and uh, also stars uh, Jade Leung and Simon Yan. And Jade Leung returns in Black Cat Two, the assassination of President Yeltsin. This one is Bless This House, a horror comedy, and also the first example we're showing of one of the slipcase versions. Um, some of their films were initially released in slipcase, uh, some were not, and those that were were often reissued with the slipcase removed at a later date. And another Dixon Poon produced production. This is The Blue Jeans Monster, a very good fun horror comedy, kind of like a zombie comedy. One of the most sought after in the range, this is Devil Fetus, uh, complete in its slipcover. Very hard to find this one, um, pretty messed up category 3 horror film, pretty gory, good fun. The next one is Doctor Vampire, which is not part of the Mr. Vampire series, this is more of a horror comedy spin-off or offshoot. The Erotic Ghost Story, with a giant great category 3 logo on the front. And just another poster on the back. You think you know what you're getting for this kind of movie, though. Evil Cat, another horror film. This is one of the latest ones to the collection. One of my personal favourites, this is Fatal Vacation. A very messed up, violent Category 3 action film. This one is in the slipcase, and also very hard to find. Brutal, brutal violence. Lots of fun. And one of the other latest ones I picked up, this is Fingers on Triggers, an action comedy, I believe. The Good, the Bad, the Beauty, another action comedy. Well, I haven't checked one out yet, but it looks pretty good. The Hellfire Angel, another in the slipcover. This one is about a cabaret singer that's out for honour and justice. The Inspector Wears Skirts, this one stars quite a cast, including Cynthia Rothrock, in one of her earlier Hong Kong roles. This one is a lot of fun, and it's a little bit like a female version of Police Academy in Hong Kong. 
which is followed up by the Inspector Wears Skirts 2. Not starring Cynthia Rothrock this time, but it does have uh, Sabelle Hugh and uh, Sandra Ng. And it's just as fun. This is Jailhouse Eros. This one is an exorcist in a jail. I haven't checked it out yet, but it sounds pretty good. The next one is Killer's Nocturne, a grim and dark, violent uh, casino movie which involves kickboxing with a kangaroo. Followed by Her Vengeance. This is a Category 3 Hong Kong version of I Spit on Your Grave. Rape revenge film, and it's pretty grim and dark. But um, as happens in these films, there is much comeuppance. Mr. Vampire 2. Uh, we don't have number one because I have that in the Hong Kong uh, leg uh, the Hong Kong Legends range, and it's on Blu-ray uh, and such these days. But this is part two of the, uh, the series. Has got this time it's got uh, Moon Lee supporting uh, Lam Ching Ying, and it looks like a load of fun. And Lam Ching Ying is back and supported by Richard Ng with Mr. Vampire Three, the series that keeps on giving. Which brings us to Mr. Vampire Four, this time starring Wu Ma and produced this time by Sammo Hung. Lam Chin Ying back this time again in Vampire vs. Vampire. Not sure if it's actually a sequel to Mr. Vampire, but it may as well be if it's not. Next up is Naughty Boys. This one is starring Philip Ko and is produced by Jackie Chan, who you can see being shown there on the front cover. Next one is Phantom Killer, old school horror from Raymond Chow. Next one is The Peacock King, a very good, fun, supernatural adventure film. This one has reverse cover. It's quite a rare find. Next up is Profile in Anger, a taking the law into your own hands action film. Next up is Robotrix, starring Amy Yip as a cyborg cop. This one's still shrink-wrapped, I should really get to this one pretty soon. Saga of the Phoenix. This is part of the series with Peacock King. So more supernatural adventure fun. Has some pretty good effects. Sea Wolves, part of the In the Line of Duty series, starring Cynthia Khan. This is Sentenced to Hang, a film about three brothers that get into crime and end up at the end of a rope. And definitely one of the best Hong Kong horror films that badly needs a Blu-ray upgrade. This is The Seventh Curse. Very hard to find. Definitely, definitely worth seeking out. Lots of fun to be had with The Seventh Curse. Tiger on the Beat 2. Obviously a sequel to Tiger on the Beat with Danny Lee and Conan Lee as cops on the beat. And lastly, You Bet Your Life. Supernatural comedy starring Sandra Ng. Although not technically part of the legendary range from Joy Sales, uh, the company did do some box sets through Fortune Star. The first we're looking at here is the Possessed 1 and 2 box set, which is a rather neat box set featuring both films. Unfortunately though, part 2 is not uncut, and that's actually fairly challenging to find uncut. The second one we're looking at here is the Chinese Ghost Story Trilogy, which is a really nice box set. Comes in... A slip with a black outer case and the three films like so. And that's it. That's my legendary Joy Sales DVD collection. Hope you all enjoyed watching that. A uh, brief little tour of my collection. If you've got any questions about the films, drop them in a comment below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.